what I felt when I first saw the light come on. And I had a engine out over um, the Strait of Malacca at 14,000 feet. And I was also flying the plane at the heaviest weight I had ever flown in, which was 27% over max gross. So max gross is the heaviest you can fly the plane. I had special permission to fly it heavier because I needed to carry the fuel. And you know, in the span of a split second when you see the oil pressure light, um, your stomach goes to your throat. Wow, that's crazy. I just had a um, oil out at uh, about 14,000 feet. But I realized that I had about five or 10 minutes that were gonna determine you know, the rest of my life. I was either going into the water, the jungle, which would have been a worse uh, case scenario, or maybe finding a place to land somewhere further in. I have a touchscreen GPS in my plane, so I hit two buttons. One of them is direct to, and the other one is nearest airport, and it said Malaysia International. So I instinctively turned the plane, and they had me on radar, and they asked what I was doing. And I said, well, I'm declaring an emergency, an in-flight emergency, and I need a vector to the nearest airport, because I wanted to confirm I was going to the right place. So they came back four times with incorrect vectors for me. They were sending me back to the airport I left from so that I wouldn't disturb their commercial air traffic. And four times I told them negative direct Malaysia International. So on the fourth time they realized I was coming in um, no matter what. Maybe spraying a little bit of hot oil too. <laughs> so when I tried to pull the, uh, the prop back, it was jammed. So it was overspeeding at about 2,700 RPMs, and I pulled the throttle back. And typically, you pull it back very slowly, but I just I pulled it all the way back. And the propeller was windmilling, and I noticed that the oil pressure had gone to zero. And with turbochargers spinning at about 100,000 RPMs, you don't have very much time until they just eat themselves up. So one fortunate thing was that the plane was set up with a oiling system that put oil into the engine from the pressurized compartment. So I was reaching behind my back. I put a feeder tube in and pumping this oil into the engine as fast as I could. I pumped three quarts in in the span of about three minutes and then magically I got 40 PSI oil pressure. So that's still not enough for the engine but it was better than what I had. You know, I felt like I was being tested. That I had no control, that I had to play in that game because I couldn't leave and the decisions I made were going to determine the rest of my life and um, shut the engine down and coasted to the closest airport here at uh, Kuala Lumpur International. Thank God I had this uh, system because it um, went to zero for a while. You know, I was like, oh my God, I'm alive. <laughs> I would fly in and people would see it and recognize that this was something special. You know, what is the spirit of San Diego? So it was a billboard for you know, the great people of San Diego, um, but it was also somebody pursuing their dreams and you know, not talking about it, but doing it. And it really is a call to adventure. And of course, it was designed to raise awareness for aviation technology and the Lindbergh Schweitzer School and the AOPA scholarship fund called the Spirit of San Diego. But I always felt that it represented the best that San Diego had to offer. It, it is a very emotional time and there's this amazing connection that I think happens with the planet because a plane doesn't know boundaries, you know, it doesn't know boundaries between countries, it doesn't know oceans or deserts or mountains, so it is all one and, you know, as human beings we're setting up these boundaries between countries and creating rules. So as you see the planet and you see the weather, you know, moving unobstructed across the planet, you realize it really is just one. The most moving part of the trip was these messages I received from the United States. Sometimes it would bring me to tears. I mean, they were the most beautiful expressions of support and blessings. Um, people were telling, telling me, um, the things that they were going to do because of my flight. I've gotten messages that told me about um, losing weight, learning languages, hiking to the tops of mountains. Um, basically everything they ever wanted to do, they were somehow inspired to, to do some of those things. To dream impossibly big, I think, is the biggest thing I'll take away from it.
it is my passion.